So in this video, I will show how to use the Fibian SIG tool in Chrome to create Fibian reports. So I have here Fibian device. I will put the USB connector, so USB cable, and I will plug it onto the computer. I will jump into the corner so you will actually see my screen. So now I'm in the Fibian.com sync website to know that at the moment this feature is only supported by Chrome. We will add, add other browsers when it becomes available. So now I have the device plugged in. I can click connect device here. And I see a device here. I click it and I click connect. It's a device number 321 and it says that device has data. The measurement is on. It has 90% of battery. And I have already done the measurement. So now I will actually look to import the data and create the reports. So I click here. Now it's reading all the data in the memory. And many times there can be 30 to 60 days of, of data. So sometimes it might take a little bit of time. In a moment, we will have a possibility to remove sleep data. So usually the, it becomes more accurate when we take away the sleep time. So sleep is not analyzed as a sedentary behavior. So I can put, for example, that I go usually to sleep at midnight and I woke up at seven. So now it will clip that time out from all the days. It is not super accurate, but for the this type of analysis for practical practical sedentary behavior and physical activity assessment, that's good. So I can click remove sleep hours. I could also just click skip if I wanted to. And then to be able to create reports and that reports actually make sense, there needs to be more than eight hours of data in in the memory actually now in this device i only have one day of of measurement but we can we can easily go with that here i could deselect the days and i can select up to seven days to be included in the report now i just have one day of data here and then i can select whether i want to use metric or imperial uh, system for the for the variables. I can select the language of the report. I will go with the English. Here I put my email. So I don't put the customer's email if I do this as a service for the data. Data privacy reasons. So we don't want to connect the person with the data in, in the cloud. Then I can put my birth year, yeah, 1981. And then gender, height, let me see, I have it there, one, one, and the weight. And this only affect the energy expenditure calculation. So if you don't want to fill these or you don't have the data, that's fully fine. They only make difference in the energy expenditure calculations and then i can put when is the report automatically deleted so now it's that it will stay in in the cloud for for one year and i will go with that now then i click create report and now our system is analyzing the data with the algorithms to get Get the data about sitting, sitting breaks, standing time, energy expenditure, and so on. And now it's asking me, rep report creation was successful. Would you like to erase the data from the device now? Usually you would like to erase it. You, you probably are starting a new measurement with the device. I will just click now, cancel. Now I go back to this screen and I can open the report here. I have also received an email with different links and information about the report. So even if I don't click open your report here, I will still get an email 
which have access to to the report and there will be a button for normal report a beta site and beta site we usually bring new features faster faster and then there is mobile which is which is our graphics uh, for the mobile phone optimized for the mobile phone view and now i have the report open here in my case it's just one day and and this seems to be some super active hike or or something but i can see the different things in the in the report i can go to print a summary report which which can be opened uh, which can be saved as a pdf or printed out and yeah there's there's many features in the report but that's how how you create Fibion reports using the Chrome extension. And the good thing with this is that you do not need to install anything on your computer. You just have the device which has data and you go Chrome and you can create the reports. So thanks for watching.